Okay, so after weeks, I have shared on everything, like uh, this thing. Oops, the wrong one. Let me take this thing up. Oh. Let's just come back to this. Okay, one second. So after weeks, I have shared this thing. What do you guys think? Um, it's a very few people that have got the knowledge to put this together under my all my close to 50 year martial art. I have met a few people who really mapped it, but nobody has mapped it with, together with the new technology and the modern sports science with the ancients, the way you have done it. But um, yeah, you have done a tremendous work to really highlight everything, everything you can measure, how you train, why you train it, when you're gonna train it, and how to develop your body. That's today not many people talk about in traditional martial art. So, yeah, that's that's the way I can put it forward. Yeah, and all the details you share. And I would like to add something that the verification and confirmation in the ancient times was really hard because very few people were able to give you the confirmation and verification when you do your sets but now it's almost in everybody's hands thanks to technology so the work that was done is incredible so everyone now can afford these tools and say hey uh, look at my measurements look my, at my heart rate look at my vo2 max it can be shown with the simple tools whereas in the ancient times it was really hard Uh, at least it wasn't available for everyone because very few grandmasters could give you the confirmation. Now it's it's much easier to do so. You know, I, I want to jump in here before you know I let everybody talk about it. So you want to buy the nonsense they throw out from China? Like this morning, somebody wrote thing, taking my 613.3 and adding with the nonsense and uh, play like grandmaster, writing books selling a lot of money and pretending to be like that. You know, the problem is this. The, the young Chinese is throwing out garbage of the ancient, uh, sorry, of the traditional Chinese martial art in China. So the question is, are we in the West buying those nonsense and are all this, got this snake oil seller all around to, to buy all this bullshit? So that's why I have to walk my talk to share, to share with you what it is. Okay, I, I'm not just saying, oh, this is the ancient, this is the ancient. No, no, we put it down there and then I, let me show you what I have. Not that I'm the number one guy in the world, but it is workable, doable. Everybody have to verify. Or else, what are you doing? You're selling nonsense. Okay? So, you know, Anybody else want to, 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 to share? Yeah, yeah, I can say something. Um, you know, like you're giving something, uh, you, you know, if you, you're trying to, you divide it in, into the body conditioning and the, and the techniques and you tell people that, you know, 70% of what you're doing is the body conditioning. Um, it's great. You can tell that to someone, but for a student to actually to, be, to see, see how they can develop and something that they can aspire to, 
so the the person that they're learning from can walk their talk and they can see what they have to aspire to is so important and then apart from that of course they have to see what they're doing and it has to be organizable you know and be in their own head it has to be simple for them to understand so body conditioning is not just hitting your hand against a, a brick wall and hoping that one day it's going to get stronger you know so and i think it's been like that for a long time you know people thinking of the body conditioning is basically that so so yeah you're giving something to younger or uh, to students in general to aspire to uh, a level to reach which is important when you're studying something at the beginning now let me let me tell you this let me share with the entire world. The Chinese always talking about Sun Gong so far. My generations, my, uh, my, my Sifu generation on top of that always know what it is. Guess what? Why do you think a person need to stand in the stand for three months? Ask that question. Didn't everybody know her about it? You need to stand in the stand for three months before you start Hoi Queen. Open your, your set, right? So what is that? What is that? What is this? And you heard about the Shaolin story? Like one guy in Shaolin, she, he want to, uh, to revenge for his father. And then uh, he went to study with a monk. And the monk don't want to teach him to, to, to fight. And say, okay, this is a small... A uh, small cow. Your job is to bring it to across the river to the to the other side of the river to feed him glasses every day. So you go back and forth, look back and forth. After two years, how big is the cow become? It is all this thing. But people, you know what? Chi. Fajing. Do you have this basic condition or you just run away? I can share with you one thing. You know, prior to the Ming Dynasty is the Yuan Dynasty. Yuan Dynasty is the Mongolian Dynasty. Mongolian Chinggis Khan rule China. Before that is the Song Dynasty. Okay? Now, in Song Dynasty, many things already really advanced and established, including your Qigong stuff and so forth. Well, it come the Yuan Dynasty for 100 years. Things like today, loss, a lot of Chinese thing lost. So Ming Dynasty is start again and until we reach Xi Jinping, everything is focused in collecting and you have systematic and everything in the Xi Jinping time. And then from Xi Jinping time, it come down to the, to, the, uh, to, the, uh, to the Qing Dynasty, okay? And then to the come to the Red Boat time of our ancestor. I want to share with you this. Today's those bullshit chi and all this is all completely bullshit making up 100 years within that period of time. Because I can track, we can track what happened in Song Dynasty. We can track what is it happened in the Qing Dynasty. We know that at, Qing, uh, at the Ming Dynasty, Shaolin already lost the art of fighting. It is Yi Da Yu who went there, remember, to reteach the monk. And then in the uh, Shaolin Short Strike, Xuan Ji He Sang, you know, the Shaolin Short Strike classic, we know that monk. We know how they handle their breathing. We know those things are from the Buddhist Anapanasati stuff. And then we know in Song Dynasty, the Taoist. One of these days, I'm going to share with you all on this the real Taoist uh, a writing, a thesis, which is written by a lady. Okay? We know Er Mei Zhuang is from Song Dynasty. Okay? 
So you have 100 years of bullshit in past 100 years made up. The internal this, internal that. In one way, it doesn't link to Chi Chi Guang. On another way, it doesn't make any sense at all, even in the in the in the in the Taoist or anything. Why? In the Song Dynasty, the Buddhists, the, the Confucians, the Taoists, they already merging. Because after hundreds of years, the technology have already merged. And I have that that thing. Well, why do you think I go around to study with so many people and read so many classics? Because I want to find out what the heck. So today, you got all this mind power, chi power, fa jing, and all this thing. Well, sorry, you couldn't even face Xi Xiaodong, who is an emerger. Not even Mike Tyson. Okay. Now, all of those things are lies. And that's why Xi Xiaodong, everybody, want to get rid of that from China today. You want to get that into Wing Chun, where our Wing Chun is pure blood, clean blood, Chi Chi Guang Shaolin, and to us, Red Boat 1850. Okay? You want to add Tai Chi in, uh, tai, add, add all this nonsense? So, that's the reason. Today, by the definitions of, uh, of the, the Chinese, we can call this the American Wing Chun. Why? Because this content is all the same. It's like Bodhidharma bring the Buddhist, Buddhist teaching to China. But China, the Chinese have the Chinese way of uh, doing things, which has become Zen, the, 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 the Chinese Chan Zen, the Shaolin Temple. This is actually a new lineage. The lineage now is nothing changed in the, in the subject, in the content, but it introduced the verification inside that. And so here on, ask for this. Or else, we are not honest with each other. We cannot do that. So this is what I like say on this part. Sorry for cutting. You know, anybody would like to share more? I, I like to share uh, something. Uh, I, I think uh, uh, without this, you don't know what you're doing. I think um, with these uh, measurements, you can train very well. You can teach very well, and, and you can see if somebody is if, if somebody is teaching know this and if you don't, don't know this you 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 have to walk away like you said and uh, i think it's true so um, it's it's amazing what what uh, what you can you can do with this and um, yeah it's very important to know it's uh, definitely so 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 the issue is right now are we going for real or are we stuck with bullshit? And one thing is that asking ourselves, how far can we go? This thing is not putting out there just to put people down. No, it's that everybody needs to get it. You can have it. If I can do it, you can do it. So why don't you do it? Like, like you guys are here. Like uh, uh, many of you guys will take take my class with me, like uh, like say 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 uh, what is his name, Raymond? Do you go through all this culture by me? You know, like carrying clouds uh, across the river, doing homework, repeat five times, and then uh, check your 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 VO two max stuff with me. Yes. Why is that? Because of me? No. Because the, the same thing with uh, wing. yeah the, the same thing with uh, with with uh, what, uh, with uh, with Joe. I mean, what was the point to learn all the six core elements? Can you read the book and know all the six core element stuff? Absolutely not. The book is just a reference, but you cannot learn from the book. You cannot learn from reading. You have to directly experience it and have someone who guides you to. To confirm to you that you that you got it without 
that guy with that, that expertise, you cannot do it alone. Not not even in a thousand years. If you, if you spend a thousand years reading the book, you cannot get it without confirmation. It's it, it just like Nimjo. Nimjo, if you don't have that Garmin and have that book and you're here, Yeah, it's not only the not only the Garmin, right? If I don't know if I don't know why I'm looking out on the Garmin and I don't know how to read the results, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And also, if I'm not asking the right questions because I'm stupid, then that's also a problem, right? So, what questions are you asking yourself if you're learning Wing Chun? How I can be the strongest man in the world and be the best street fighter? And then you're going the wrong way, right? So the the, the same, you know, like. Did I ask you for one, one, one penny when you asked me all these questions or I say, yeah, do this, do this, do this? No, no, no. So, so the thing is that, you know, it doesn't matter which lineage one is. My job here is to straighten this thing out. Why? Hey, man. In China, people put you down. And then in the West, you have all this Nick's Oil Grandmaster Right now, they try to use my uh, 6133 uh, package with some nonsense and, uh, and, 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 and try to make big money. Okay? You, you need, you, Wing Chun cannot afford that. So Wing Chun, uh, like the BJJ people or Western boxing people or Kyokushin people or Thai boxer people, if you do those kind of nonsense, people get together and say, hey, man, enough is enough. Okay? We have to be like that, right? I mean, it's not, I am responsible for education. I'm not the, the, the grandmaster or anybody. If you have a problem, you contact me, you know, like Nimcho. I don't even know Nimcho when he contacted me. But if you have a problem, like, oh yeah, my heart go high, you know, what should I do? Well, if I know, I will give a, a, a suggestion what to do. The, the honest thing is that, the serious thing. Tong Choi taught me so many years. He never asked me for tuition fee. Of course, I when I go back from America to visit him, I buy some present for him because there's a, a, a kind of respect and appreciation. Venerable Xianhua, the Zen Patriot, told me this. Hendrik, if you teach, if you want money, then you don't teach the real thing. You want to teach like the ancient. You don't want to take a sense. And I understand today, if you make a living with the school, you cannot do that. Okay? But the bottom line, we know our heart, what we are doing. So that's the ancient teaching. So the rich guy pay you more money, fine. The whatever, fine. You just look at the red package, you don't, no, you don't care for what inside there is a twenty a quarter or is a ten thousand dollars. You don't. You just look at the red package. You don't look at what is the content inside there. That's the way how it is. The ancient Chinese. So if you go talk to talk to a uh, 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 venerable Xianhua, the Zen patriarch, he will tell you. The real master, never take your money. He teach you, but then you have to listen. You have to do all the homework, do everything. Okay? So, so, so as what I said, is the society change. Now you open a school. Of course, you make a living. You need to have, have money. You have to pay tuition fee. And uh, you, you take high tuition fee, no problem, because you provide a service. But I just tell you, Neil, that my ancient old uh, 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 learning sifu, like a Seiko Ham's student, the, uh, the Fa Chan, my Sifu, in, in Indonesia, the monk, the Shaolin, uh, the, 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 the monk, he didn't take money. But every day, oh, Hendrik, you have to be good, okay? You have to be nice to people. You have to be nice to everybody. And then you see all kind of beggar outside in the temple asking for money, and then you be a friend with them. Who the hell we are? We can be a billionaire. We can be a, a beggar the next day. Okay, that's called impermanence. That's the teaching of Buddha. So right now in America, if we don't put all this thing in, what are you doing?
what is the content? Do you teach what the ancient Chinese is teaching? And, and one other thing too, for example, you have a Golden Gate in San Francisco, right? If you guys go to Golden Gate, you can write down Golden Gate, you know, describing Golden Gate. Okay, this is a, a nice place to go, right? Now, if someone who really go to Golden Gate after he read your description, you go to Golden Gate, he say, oh, I saw this. This is what Nimjo uh, tell me in his writing. And then, hey, by the way, Nimjo, you know, it, it turns out that they paint the Golden Gate from one side to the other side, and it takes one year. Okay, and that means that is uh, on top of the uh, Nimjo's information, you have another more information, right? Instead of, like today, that, that guy wrote the book is like this. He never been in San Francisco, never been in Golden Gate. Then he read about Hendrix 613.3, like the Golden Gate Bridge. And then he starting to say, in the Golden Gate Bridge, there will be a dragon on top. And that dragon will shine with a light and chi, and then write a book about that. Okay? In the past 100 years, many of the so-called grandmasters doing that. I love it if somebody said, yeah, uh, Nimjo, you say of the Golden Gate Bridge, I went there and I found out that they actually go paint they take entire year just to maintain and paint from one side to another side. That's another extra information, right? Now, if you don't do that, you take my stuff or take the ancient stuff, like today you have the 10 zillion bong sao or whatever, but you're missing the grandmaster Yip Man saying that receiving. You know what is that like? That is like you are pirating a hybrid pressure medicines putting some other ingredient as you like, and you sell that, in, that, 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 that thing, whatever you create to people, and people thinking there was a hybrid precious medicine. That's what you do. So I get pissed off and all this kind of thing. If you sell proper medicine to the poor, even without money, or you need to make a living, you're selling this, as soon as it's proper, I have no problem. But if you sell medicines with a, a, a missed ingredient there, and you sell them as a hybrid pressure medicine, and now it is no longer that, then I have a problem. You have a problem with me, okay? You see, you guys can go make your money you want because you need to have a service. You need to make a living. I understand that 100%. But don't sell a hybrid pressure medicine with your own goddamn ingredient that you don't know what is the, 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 the result of the thing. Because people die, you know? So, so that, 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 that is what my point. And if you don't know this, if you, if you don't know this, how are you going to supposed to face a Western boxer friend, a BJJ friend, an MMA friend? What do you know? What do you have handling? This is serious. This is your uniqueness. This is your body conditioning to support your uniqueness. If you don't have this trained in your Shulim Tao sets and all your sets, what are you doing? Say, for example, you just take a, a, a proper Hong Seng Chui Lei Fat. You know how they fight. You know in the uh, Hong Seng Chui Lei Fat teaching, school teaching, since 100 years ago, there are plenty of things here. Which I, I say in, uh, in, in Western uh, sports science today. So this is the reality I'm facing. So, so that's why, that, that's why I, I say that you study with me or not, it doesn't matter. You need to pass your, 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 your scientific verifications because it's you, it's not me. And everybody needs to have that.
So what do you guys think? Ready to push it out for all your school and everything that so you need to do that or else you know, who knows what you're teaching? And if that guy have a heart problem, low VO2 max, are, are, you going to, are you going to push him hard? Oh, oh, the, the guy is weak. And then, and then uh, he, you look at him and say, oh, he's weak. Uh, let's do the fitness. Oh, his body couldn't even do the fitness. Okay, let's go do recovery training first. Oh, if this guy is uh, very energetic, fitness is good. Okay, you go practice endurance, okay? You, you need to, how to, to, to put for your student. So, so instead of go, oh, I'm going to do Xiu Lim Tao. You follow me. Everybody follow me doing Xiu Lim Tao for 30 minutes. No, you say this is Xiu Lim Tao time. Right now, everybody doing in the aerobic base time. Everybody do five to six sets. You do it on your own timing. Go do it. Okay? Because every person is different. Every person has, cert has different conditions, uh, certain uh, different level of fitness. So... Yeah, it's not mimicking. It's something yeah. very personal. And you, you can do interval training and then do sparring. You can say, okay, you only can do one round. You can only do two rounds. Everybody have to try it, but you want to do only one round, two rounds. No exception. As a Sifu, you want to be responsible for your student. And, and in the ancient Chinese, it say that one day Sifu, the entire life is Sifu. The reason why they respect you is because you care for them. In the ancient, if you are rich, you can give uh, what? Uh, three grams of gold every month to your, to your teacher because the teacher is uh, not asking, but he have a school, he needs to make a living. You're richer than other people, you give him three grams of gold. If not, then Somebody can just go work in the Sifu's home, okay? Doing cleaning job or anything. Well, but the entire thing is based on human base. Right? And, 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 and without this, how can Wing Chun stay? Can, can I uh, build up my fitness in, uh, in, in, uh, in one day, in one seminar? Have you stand in the uh, uh, hot stand for three months for your conditioning before you start your Xiu Tao sets? What do your Xiu Tao sets do? So, so right now, it's enough is enough. See, as I always say, when, when, when I need money, when I need prestige, and I boot myself, oh, uh, you, you, you name Bruce Lee. But Bruce Lee run, don't we run? And then you, uh, when, when they say, oh, this and that, they say, well, you, you just uh, pull, pull out uh, Grandmaster Yit Man. But Grandmaster, is the, is Grandmaster Yit Man say, this is Wing Chun, this is uh, receiving, but you do your reason? You don't, you just make use of people. You don't have respect them, you don't respect them. So right now, when we come to America, if this is uh, like we start a new lineage, like the, the, the Buddha's teaching, go to China, we start it with all with our scientific, no bullshit. Everybody the same. The teacher is responsible to look at the student stuff. The student's responsible to train according to it, not monkey around. It's, it's a simple thing. Why make life difficult? Isn't it good for everybody this way? You can stand up proud, pride to say, yes, I lost to you in this fight, but I know my Kung Fu. I know I have developed this Kung Fu. Well, who, who can guarantee you to be the richest guy in the world anyway? Or who can guarantee you become the 
the, the president of the United States anyway. Nobody. But the thing is that you know that, hey, I graduate from uh, the law school. And I, my profession is the law. Same, my profession is in Wing Chun. And I have this professional knowledge and all these things. So you take your mind off from, oh, I want to be like Bruce Lee. I want to be like this and like that. What you want to be like Bruce Lee, but you do you run? If you don't run, that means you're laying down in the bed and daydreaming. Look at how hard Bruce trained. So you need to become having a standard here. And of course, in the world, you have many people who never have one to this standard. Even in Asia, that's why I tell you before, my Si Heng and everybody is complaining, how can our Chinese martial art Kung Fu sustain? It's losing our faith, our ancestors' faith now. So right now in the West, I said we're doing it in the professional and in the uh, systematic and the... Uh, Scientific way. That's good for everybody. So instead of talking big, it's like buying a product. If you sell this product, you stand behind the product. And if you are the guy who buy this product, you use it properly. So I know, well, how many of you guys can handle that three, three, uh, three, uh, three body type? Hey, Daniel, you've been there for four years. How, can, how many types you can handle? I can uh, maybe handle, let's say, yeah, I, I would say I would say all three of them. But not because I'm, uh, you know, the best, the most, uh, or the perfect one. It's just because of you, because I've learned so much from you and I can handle it. I can monitor it on my, my watch so I can... I can do it. I can, uh, yes, I, I can um, fulfill all of these uh, three types. How good, of how good you can do it, you think? You rate yourself, how good you, you I, how proficient you can do it? How proficient? I'm, I would say um, I'm not the, the, the say the, the best, but I'm going to be, uh, I do it because, um, for now, I don't want to say something say. For, for now, it's a, for, for now, for now, I would say 70, 80 percent. Because okay. um, because I, I do it because I do it with passion. I, I, I want to I, I listen to you. I watch your videos. I try to because I learn, you know, so much from you and I try to. OK, so do, to se do 70, it because 70, 80 percent now. Nimjo will be able yes. to do uh, recovery for laying down recovery for say 90%, right? Or else your body will not recover. Agree, Ninjo? Right. The, the judge is Garmin, the judge is Garmin. Yeah, but, but I just want to say, I don't spend all of my time laying in bed, okay? <laughs> <laughs> my life doesn't allow for me to stay in bed, although I would like to stay there maybe for 90%. You, you do some way. practice as well. <laughs> Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, Ray, uh, if, if 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 we if can I say something on go, this? Go, go, go ahead, if go ahead. we if we divide them, for example, the, the recovery part, I'm, I'm pretty good at it at it at now because I practiced it, and, uh, and you go through my, my, my heart rate, and you go through COVID. Yes, <laughs> yes, and I yes, and I went through COVID because. And uh, this will, uh, this was really, really, really a hard time. And you know, Hendrik, we talked to each other when I had COVID, and I couldn't even, I was not able to do anything because my body was weak. So after that, these, all these, um, the, the, the. Okay, um, my time, my time. Six link sounds. Oh, sorry. sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay, so uh, okay. next time, you know, uh, my okay. uh, the we time is almost it. up for this Zoom. Thanks, 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 everybody. <laughs>